Hi guys, Ben from Fortitude Homes. Welcome to April's vlog. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where we're gonna release the new stock of the month, which is going to be located in the Greater Springfield area, along with 11 dual occupancy homes in the Logan Reserve Park Ridge location. Hi guys, so welcome to the first of many, but no doubt April's vlog for Fortitude Homes, which is where I'm going to be speaking about any of the changes that we've made to the portal or any relevant new stock updates, current stock, things we're releasing or anything that's of relevance whatsoever that's going to give you guys a hand to engage with our business uh, to make your life easier for us to help you solve problems and get more efficient with your clients and anything at all that we think might benefit each other. So no doubt I'm gonna release these monthly. Um, today we're gonna to be speaking about some of the changes that we've made on the portal, some of the current stock updates that we've got, things that are remaining and observations I've seen out in the marketplace, and also some new stock at the end where we're gonna be talking about some new product that we're releasing in the Greater Springfield area, and of course those dual occupancy homes that sold out in about a week last time we brought these to the market. We've got another 11 that we're releasing to the market at the end of this video. So guys, basically what we're gonna be talking about today is, uh, and initially the changes that we've made to the portal to make your engagement with us better and easier. So keep sending in the observations and suggestions and we'll take them on board and adapt to those where possible. Uh, but firstly, you might have already noted in the portal that there was a reservation section designed for when you had an expression of interest with your client. Uh, we've now added another feature onto the portal known as the hold button. That hold button is designed for any up and coming presentations that you need a bit of stock to prepare, print out the documentations and ensure that no one else sells it while you're going through that preparation stage. So now you just click onto the portal and I will bring the overlay up now. Um, you'll be able to click that button, reserve the stock, it'll be a five business day hold. That will then automatically remove the viewing of that piece of stock from everyone else that has access to it you'll get that five day window to go and present that to your client. It will automatically be released back to the portal and the same people that could have viewed it prior to them will now be able to view that bit of stock again um, in the event that you then don't take up the second suggestion on the reservation section of the portal. So if you're successful with the property presentation, you'll then go onto the reservation section, click on that button and complete the uh, request form in there in which that'll then hold that for the further process that's normal when you get an expression of interest or contract signed. So that's the first change of the portal. Um, the second change, which I think has been some feedback given to us recently as well, is in relation to the registration date and ability to predict and know when the properties are becoming registered for settlement. So at the moment, we've only been able to have a yes or no feature. Uh, as of today, we can now put the approximated date on when we have been told that the stock's due to for registration. So of course, if it's titled, you'll see the yes button, sorry, the yes feature, or in the event that it's not registered yet, you'll get an approximated month. Now that obviously, as we all know, is subject to council and final timeframes, but they're generally accurate within a few weeks or a month. So we'll keep updating those monthly as we go, but now you'll see either an April or a May or a June, July. Um, we generally won't release too many bits of stock that are going to be titled too far away. We might upload them into the back end of the portal, but if it's a particular client that just needs to do something and you need something that's titling in six months time, just reach out to me personally and we'll have a discussion about what we might be able to do to help that fit for you. So uh, another great feature and also from feedback that we were aware of when we first launched the portal is in relation to the filtered section, be able to search easily dual occupancy homes in their own right. So as we go through the filtered section on the stock list now, you'll note on the left hand side, there's now a button available to be viewed that says dual occupancy or dual oc or however it's viewed on the overlay now. Um, so we're trying to make this easier so you don't need to search through each individual project and have a bit of an understanding on which areas are dual key friendly. And of course, at times, Fortitude's been quite good at getting the odd dual key in owner occupier areas that's not known for having dual occupancy properties available. And if you're not aware of that, you probably won't go searching for that. So now, simply just click on the left-hand side here in the dual lock button. And as you click on that, you will now bring up every dual occupancy home, no matter what location of the project they're in, and you'll be able to search that into the same manner, either in price order or project order, 
but they will bring up all of the duelocks that will be available to search without having to look at all the other single income properties that are available on the portal. So further to that, another change that we've made, not necessarily on the portal, but just for good practice as some of the stock moving forward uh, may not have solar inclusions on them, some may have, it might be just dependent upon what we're trying to do versus price point. Now, as you click into the portal and go through the specific property and bring up the template that'll have the features, the contracts, the build and land, rental letters, you'll note here as the overlay depicts that you'll now see the solar agreement section. There is now no reference to uh, solar being included on any of the build contracts or the marketing flyers. If solar and you're aware that solar is being included for your sale for your client, you will now need to click and download this section of the solar agreement, which will have the marketing agreement, the inclusions list that need to be signed and initialed, the power shop agreement that also needs to be signed to authorize it for the client, and any relevant contract inclusions that need to be signed and executed by both client and of course, Fortitude Homes once it comes into our possession. So just really important guys, there will be no extra information included throughout the contract or the marketing, only when you print and download this document will you now be able to see the solar information. So you need to make sure that this is fairly, um, becomes a standard operating process for you now. So guys, um, one thing that I've also seen throughout my years of doing this and one of the probable client feedback problems we get is when the colour and facades are subject to change in the front and they don't match up either with what they've been told they're getting or they don't match up with the contract inclusions in the back of the build contract. So what we're doing at Fortitude moving forward is where possible, and I'd hope, I'd hope to say that we're gonna have a 90% plus strike rate on this, that we're gonna make sure that when we release the stock, um, that there's going to be a matching of the colored and facade on the marketing flyer, which will also match up what's in the back of the build contract. They will also be getting approved at covenants as part of the release process. If we're getting the stock up on the portal very quickly, then we may be obviously making that change within a few days of it being released onto the portal, but our process will be to make sure that the developer and the covenants match with the contracts and the marketing material and the renders match the colour and the facade and the inclusions because we all know that there's still a clause in there that says subject to change if the developers and covenant people insist on there being a change and they make a mistake. Um, we still need that right to be able to make that change. But the intention at Fortitude Homes, it will be the smallest change possible to satisfy the request from covenants, but we will get it obviously amended and discussed at that point in time and those changes will be the minimum change. However, we're aiming for a 90% strike rate where that's not needed to occur. And you'll now note that this will match up in the contract marketing flies, and of course, with the approval process in that team. So guys, that brings me to talk about some of the current stock, op, um, stock update and the observations that we've been making through our interactions through you guys in the field and our own internal uh, observations. Um, the Terrace product that we've released in Providence, which has been $369,000, of course, we've spec'd these up considerably to be an owner-occupied feel. Um, they've been super popular. We've managed to get two valuations back from Heron Todd White and Optium. Um, CBRE came in about 10,000 light. The other two came back at full purchase price. Uh, we have an induction process that we run where we have our land acquisition manager meet them on site, induct them, and sell the vision of what we're trying to create on site. Uh, and that's been quite successful in this space. Now, for this release, there was eight. I believe we only have two available now if all the contracts that we have go through. So if you have any interest of two-part contract, sub 400 grand price point, and in particular sub $370,000 price point, I recommend strongly that you take a look at those terraces. Uh, I know that Charlie and I will be holding in the next release, which are coming up in November and December. We will be keeping one of the end ones each for ourselves because we think that they're a real game changer to that local market. Um, 369,000, rent's gonna be about 380 to 395. Um, we think super popular, huge amount of inclusions on this as we're gonna be documenting and videoing the first construction project that we do all rendered fencing, high spec inclusions, including waterfall marble edges inside, uh, full mirrored robes, gapless back toilets, uh, astro turf out the back, 
Um, and yeah, they're quite special. So have a look at those if you haven't already and reach out if you have any further questions that we have about those. Once they sell, the next release of those, which will be a further 12, won't be coming onto the market until November, December this year. We'll probably put them onto the portal around August, but there'll be quite a big gap between these registrations, which are due to come in at the end of this month, early May, and then the next gap being November, December. So there will be a potential shortfall of that kind of stock. We'll try and solve it between now and then, but just be aware of that moving through. So on top of that, guys, our sub $400,000 price point, which is what we call our Flinders design, which is our narrower four bedroom, um, two bathroom, single car design, two living areas, about 175 square meters. They've been super popular. They rent really well. A lot of people are obviously a bit gun shy about that lack of second garage, but it's compensated by the price point, the rental return and the two living areas that are separated from the rear to the front, which has been very popular in renting them where the kids can get tucked out of their way and uh, mum and dad to get their own space on the weekend. So they certainly haven't been affected at all in terms of the rentability in the market. And again, there are only a few left that are in that sub $400,000 price point. We are planning to have another 11 released in the next coming months, um, but we know that there's already four of those potentially spoken for. So anything that's sub 400,000 price point that we've released on the market, we've got multiple valuation support, three or four valuers supporting that as a minimum. We know of another funder returning to the market in the next 60 days, which will then make it five. So guys, please reach out if you have any further work and assistance with that. They are fantastic price points, great rental returns. Um, and we again see them as being a really good solution for the clients that don't have a lot above the 400,000. The Melbourne clients in particular have loved the Ripley story. They can, um, they can see that it's very similar to the chain of events that's occurred in the Point Cook story. So if you aren't aware of the Point Cook story, the RAF base, the population surge, the town city opening up and the number of population people that move into a given area, proximity to the CBD in Melbourne, and then look at the population that mimics the price growth uh, modeling, then Ripley is nearly identical. In fact, if at all, it's potentially going to supersede the results that we're seeing in the Point Cook market. So obviously Ripley, number one master plan community in Australia, we're a big believer in it. Uh, and we want to support that market through there and being involved in Ripley Valley and Providence, very heavy owner occupier locations through there. So guys, get involved on those and have a look. We also have some 400 to 420 and 440 price points as well, but reach out if you have anything in particular that you need some help with. So um, guys, the only other stock that I want to mention that's on the portal that I want to bring your attention to that might have slipped through the cracks is we have two pieces of stock that remain uh, that have come back onto the market uh, in Red Bank Plains. So Red Bank Plains for me needs to be sub $420,000 price point for it to be attractive for the valuers, the market, the funders and for clients. And we've got two packs. Have a look at lot 740, which is now priced at 417,980. And then there's also lot 735, which is 414,980. Both are going to sell very quickly. Um, we probably have some interest on there now, but they're available and no one's reserved them. So if you have some interest and you want to put your name on those, please go through that whole process or reach out and speak to us. They're the Eden design. They do come included solo, so an extra $25 a week in rental return and uh, more than happy to discuss what your needs might be on those two packs. But they're the ones that I can see all go pretty quick that should be of some interest to you guys. So um, just one last observation I'm going to make before we talk about the new stock we're uploading to the portal today is the Nevada Dual Keys Park Ridge. So guys, we had seven releases of these within the last 30 days and they lasted a week. So the three and two configurations in particular um, just sold out straight away. They were 559,980, great rental returns, included solar and just all got snapped up within the week. So basically what that showed us is that we needed to bring the next estate, which is gonna be called Montana Estate, that's being uploaded to the portal virtually right now. So the releases that we're making today are going to be the next dual occupancies, which we're doing 11 dual locks in Montana Estate, Logan Reserve. They're going to be uploaded to the portal at the end of this video. There is 10 three and two configurations that are gonna be 559,980. They are a slightly wider lot than the last ones in Nevada, and they're potentially going to be an even better configuration. They will be uploaded and available for sale now, along with one three-in-one configuration, which we 
Um, only did the one because the valuers aren't supporting the three and one configuration as well as they're supporting the three and two. And the rental return does jump up for only $20,000 more. The rental return is significantly affected by that lack of bedroom. So for a client that doesn't have 559, the three and one's a great option and we'll leave it available for you to have a look at. We can configure and change more if needed, but we're getting good valuation support on the three and two. We've got, I believe, full price value is four grand, nine grand and 14,000 light. Um, um, so we've got three or four valuers supporting those all the way through. We see no issues with the three and two configurations. I think the three and ones are coming in 15 and 20 to 24 light, depending upon which valuation firm you've used. But like with all of our stock, we run a full valuation process all the way through. So again, reach out. We've got that intel there that we can help you guys be efficient in placing your clients and make sure you get those funding options matched up quickly from the beginning. So that brings me to the last of the stock at Springfield or the greater Springfield area at Brentwood Forest. So guys, these have been super popular in terms of the feedback that we've been getting. It's very much a very small investment selection mixed amongst owner-occupier homes within the greater Springfield location. 400 metres walk down to the Bellbird Park College, literally next door to the Brookwater Golf Club, which is Queensland's number one golf course. At the end of the street, around the corner, you've got Augustine Heights, which again has been super popular for the college there. That college has obviously about a two-year waiting list just to get in. So we see these at the sub $440,000 price point as being very good value. We've priced these and we're uploading them at the end of the video for $437,980. They are the Eden design incorporating the solar inclusion. So as a uh, investment option for clients that like to have a rare selection and a slither of properties mixed amongst owner occupier, high quality homes in a very good demographic. And we all know that the Springfield Lakes story is phenomenal when it comes time to placing them uh, in front of clients. In fact, if I was out there presenting any stock in any of a good feel story in terms of infrastructure, population and growth modeling, Springfield Lakes and that corridor through there is still going to be number one in my opinion. So guys, jump online and have a look at those. I've already got a few phone calls coming in on them. I haven't released them. They're going to be uploaded at the end of this video. And I want you to obviously reach out if you have any particular interest or any nuances with those. We're running the full valuation process on those. I'm not worried about them. I already know which valuers will support them, but we are still going to do our full induction process and we'll keep those notes on hand when we get that information back and update relevant people when possible. So guys, just to wrap up, again, thanks for tuning in. And um, these are obviously what I'm going to try and do each month. Um, my IP and intel of what we've gathered of not only our stock, but the greater market and the funding and my ability to oversee a finance model as well as a sale model and helping Fortitude make sure that we tailor the stock that we think is going to help us be the most efficient with the clients we're meeting with is, I'd have to think, pretty good. So please feel free to reach out for any client fit. Use my information to help you guys convert. I'm very approachable, easy to talk to. Just give us a buzz and guys look forward to catching you up again and speak to you in the next vlog that we're going to release for the May edition. Thank you.